We're here at Iowa Central Community College and we're talking with Dr. Dan Kenny. He's the president of Iowa Central. We're talking to Shelley Blunk. She's the executive director of economic and workforce development. And we're talking to Stacy Menser. She's the interim vice president of instruction. And Dr. Kenny, and we're excited today to talk about the connection between the community and education because really Iowa Central works very closely with the community to give people uh, more than just a two year degree. Uh, the big thing you got to look in there is community. I mean, with what we do, I mean, with our summer youth camps, I mean, we're hitting grade school students to middle school to high school and then into the college, traditional college age students. But more importantly, I think we're really working with our adult learners through either credit programs, non-credit programs, or, you know, to get into that workforce. When you look at economics within a region, I think the community college plays a key role in that. We're, we're one spoke of, of a wheel, but without a community college, there's no way that we can continue to grow the workforce. and the needs and, and attracting additional businesses to our area. Yeah, and you talked about uh, the economics. You recently just went through a big bonding process yes, we did. and, and some, some more money now is going into Iowa Central. We're excited about that. Nine counties had a vote on that and we were able to get a, uh, a bond issue. As part of this bond, one of the things is we still deal with a lot of first generation students and you know students who don't understand how to go through the educational system. I think it's really important to, uh, to look at how do we get them from start to finish that completion. If it's a, a high school student coming in or if it's an adult learner coming back. We've got great jobs here. We've got a great community. You look Look at what's been happening in Fort Dodge over the last, I mean, nine years that I've been here. I mean, continue to grow and do great things. So how do we keep our youth here and show them the great jobs, so that the high demand, high needs jobs that we have that got great salaries and benefits that are tied to them? One of the things I think where community colleges really play in a, a prime role is we listen to community through our advisory boards. And when they say, you know, we need this skill, boom, we're right on it. I, we could, we've started degree programs up as quick as six months. It took us to put the program together to get that enrolled where a lot of universities don't have that option. The other big thing is collaboration. How do we work together better? I think partnerships are key to the community college and work with our local school districts, our local business and industry out there and in our community itself. You know, thanks to our, our local citizens and, and pushing that bond issue through. So we got a lot of good things. It's going to be a three to four year process as we do that. So we're, we're excited. And I know you also wanted to talk about not just all the academic things that are going on here, but you're really proud of what's happening with the arts and the athletics. Most community colleges are 100 to 200 students. We house 1,300 students on our campus. Literally, we kind of say we, we uh, act like a four-year institution that offers two-year degrees. You know, it's out there, especially if you look at rural America right now, 70% of our jobs are only requiring a two-year degree or less or certificate into there. So really trying to, to cater to that to give that true college experience. And that's through our athletic department, our fine arts, and our activities. Uh, you know, we got uh, the number of athletic programs that we have, and we don't take them lightly. We are the top junior college athletic program in the nation to include California and uh, the, the Northwest. Uh, three years in a row, and then in the NJCAA, we won the Natica Cup, which says the top two year in, in that area for the last nine out of ten years. People come out and see our plays and musicals. I will put them up against Broadway anytime. <laughs> you know, that Fine Arts Department program does a great. We have a new addition this year with uh, Will Lopes. He's coming back. We're excited about that. Uh, you know, a graduate coming back. And then really, if you look at, I mean, at our, our deals, and graduate of Iowa Central Community College, you look at how many people work here that attended here. I think that shows you what special things that we do as a community college here within, within the communities that we serve. So, All right, let's turn now to that ICC graduate, Shelly. And Shelly, a uh, big part of your job is getting into the community and working with business. Uh, first, let's start with what you do with the high schools. They're our future workforce. Um, it's so important that we connect that future workforce Force with our existing business and industry. Uh, many of those uh, young folks have no idea what businesses do right here down the street. Um, so we're working with them on uh, projects like the link that you're aware of um, in the middle school. And that just, it just bounces off of our career on wheels. We have about 40 employers that come out to Iowa Central East Campus uh, talk to fifth graders. They spend the whole day talking to fifth graders about what they do. So it's really about that career awareness. Again, it starts with fifth grade, but then it continues on through the high school so we can connect those businesses with our existing work, um, workforce. You know, with 2% unemployment, it's getting really competitive for, for our employers to attract workers. So they're stepping up to the plate and they're working with us and we go on site to provide training. 
Uh, they allow uh, their employees to go through this training and they become more productive, more engaged, um, and it, it advances everybody. So it's a great partnership, a great opportunity for the individuals and the businesses uh, to advance and be more competitive. And Stacy, Dr. Kenny talked about how you're able to change your curriculum here at Iowa Central to meet the needs of the communities that you serve. And one of those examples uh, is a recent partnership with Unity Point Health. Unity Point Health is actually um, uh, the healthcare facility that we do a ton of work with. They do great things for our students doing their clinical rotations, um, but we actually had a team come from there and talk to us about a surgical technician program. Um, apparently there is a huge shortage for surgical technicians and they're having a hard time finding them. So they are actually paying people that have higher degrees to do this job. So this is something that we are currently working on um, and hoping to get rolling here within the next year. A couple years ago, we actually opened our simulation center um, at Unity Point Fort Dodge. And this year now, uh, Shelly Blunk and I have begun working with the Iowa Department of Public Health on a grant. Um, and we are hoping to have a mobile simulator, which will then go out to all of our critical access hospitals um, and all of our EMS services in the area and provide training there at their doorstep, basically. Okay, well, we all know that education is critical to thriving communities like Fort Dodge and the Fort Dodge area. So Dr. Kenny, Shelley, and Stacy, thanks so much for joining us.